fellow futurists. You're watching episode 57 of The Daily Decrypt. I'm Amanda, your host, and today's episode is brought to you by New Bits. A Redditor today vented his frustration that he had paid almost $2 in a Bitcoin transaction fee. That particular amount may or may not have been overkill at the time, but the fact remains that Bitcoin's transaction prices are rising. While Bitcoin Core holds the dominant position in reference client, now competing with it are Bitcoin Unlimited, Bitcoin XT, and Bitcore. The mining pool ProHashing reports that 10% of their miners have switched from receiving their payouts in Bitcoin to Litecoin and NXT instead to save on fees. OpenLedger is a web wallet which enables trading on the BitShares blockchain. Tokens popularly traded there include smart coins like BitUSD, BitGold, and BitBTC, as well as crypto equity shares in various organizations. OpenLedger has just released this introductory video, inviting new users to come and play around with what they believe will be the next generation of the stock exchange. Security researcher Joanna Rutkowska has published a new paper entitled A Proposal for a Stateless Laptop. In it, she echoes the concerns of other popular voices like Vinay Gupta, who have expressed concern that Intel processing chips are not secure. Will open source hardware follow open source software? And if so, how? Joanna begins publicly presenting her research this weekend in Germany, and her paper can be found in the description. Sponsored shout out that today is the last day that all profits from all sales at Roberts and Roberts Brokerage will get donated directly to antiwar.com. The owners of rrbi.co proudly accept, I believe even prefer Bitcoin. So whether you are getting gold, silver, platinum, or palladium, just be sure to use the coupon code peace on earth. And it ends today. The Huffington Post claims that Apple Pay has plans to switch from using banks as its transfer backbone to blockchains. Whether Apple intends to use an already deployed and public blockchain or to create its own remains to be seen. Blockchain backbone notwithstanding, Apple Pay's entry and exit points would still be in fiat. Holy decentralized governance. Did you know that 10% of the block reward in Dash is set aside to fund development and marketing? The Daily Decrypt did, and that is why we have submitted a budgetary proposal to the Dash system to sponsor our show. A minimum of 360 yes votes from Dash's masternodes are needed for our proposal to be funded, and we currently have 155. If you're interested in seeing how this whole process works, go check out our proposal at dashwhale.org slash budget. Today's episode has been brought to you by Newbits, which is able to keep its value pegged to the US dollar by new shareholders casting votes on monetary policy. It's like they're the Fed, but transparent and accountable, and they don't threaten you to use their money. Learn more at newbits.com. We're independent members of the LTB network, so if you'd rather listen than watch, check out our podcast there, and today's magic word is scrupulous. Subscribe and have a great day.